In this video, we will be going to study how to generate a grammar for a language. In our previous video, we studied about introduction to grammars and conversion of grammars to language. That means deriving language from a grammar. But in this video, we will be doing the opposite process to build grammar from a predefined language. So come, let's begin. Before moving on to the topic, construction of grammar from a language, I want to tell you one important property of language and grammar. The property is if language generated by two grammars that is LG1 and LG2. This is the language generated by first grammar. This is the language generated by second grammar. G1 and G2 is equal that is they both are equal. Then the grammars are said to be equivalent. If the language generated by two grammars is equal then the grammar is also equivalent. Now we shall discuss the main topic construction of grammar from a language. For explanation of this topic construction of grammar from a language I have taken an example. I will directly explain you from the examples. The problem is suppose language generated by a grammar G. L G means language generated by a grammar G is given by A raised to the power M B raised to the power M where M should be greater than equal to 0 and N should be greater than 0. This is the formula to generate language from a grammar is a language and we have to find out the grammar that produces this language means we are given a language that is generated by a grammar G we have to find out that grammar G. So the method to find the grammar from a given language is purely hit and trial method. Here we know that the n is greater than 0. n is the power of b here b raised to the power n n should be greater than 0 means in every string there will be at least one b always b will exist many number of b's can exist greater than 0 but at least one should be there because it cannot be equal to 0 whereas a can exist or cannot exist because it is greater than equal to 0 means m can be 0 also so the language which will be generated by this grammar will be something like this lg equals to set b b is a string where n is 1 b raised to the power 1 and m is 0 so this is only b a single b string will be generated or a b can be generated if both m and n are 1 b b can be generated if m is 0 and n is 2 means a raised to the power 0 and b square so b b or the a a b can be generated where m is 2 and b is 1 or a a b b can be generated where m is 2 and b is 2 or b b b can be generated where m is 0 and n is 3. So like this many more strings can be generated. So the point we have to keep in mind is we have to produce the production rules we have to define the production rules so that on applying that production rule we get strings like this where b always exists but a can exist or cannot exist so now i will tell you how to write the production rules so the formula a raised to the power m b raised to the power n defined a grammar like this where b is present everywhere because n should be greater than 0 and a can be 0 or can be any number of times so using this phenomenon we derive two main conditions that are necessary to fulfill the every string in this set. The conditions are first condition is b is after a in the string. See that every b is after the presence of a. If a is present in a string then b is after a. Here also two a's are present b is after the two a's. Two a's are and b is after two a's. If a is not present then this condition does not hold. So second condition is at least one b, at least one b followed by any number of a. This we all know as n should be greater than 0. So at least one b will be always be present followed by any number of a's. b should be adjacent to ahead of a, ahead of a. So to fulfill these two conditions, we have derived a production rule purely by hit and trial method. You have to think the production rule starting from start symbol s so how you can derive the production rule is if s derives capital b capital b is a non terminal capital characters represent non terminals so capital b can then derive either small b 
followed by capital B or a simply a small b. Using this, we can follow the condition number one, where b is after a. Second, at least one a fo one b followed by any number of a's. This can be fulfilled by s derives a s, where a comes before and this s can be replaced by using this these three productions if any b is needed here. So if we have to include a anywhere in our string then this production will help us where a comes before. Then this s can be replaced if we need any of the b's. Obviously one b is always needed so at least this production will always be included along with this or we can also include this production and then using this production we can terminate our string. Now I will give you some examples of how we are using this production rules to generate these strings. Now these four production rules are those which we decided right now. Using these production rules all strings in this grammar b a b a a b a a b b b b b or so on can be generated. Let's say we want to generate b then how it can be generated using this start symbol production s derives b and this b can be replaced using this production b derives b. Then in this production using this production we can write in place of this capital B small b as s derives b start symbol has generated our first string. Now we will see how a b will be generated. Now to generate this string a b we have taken this production s derives a s then s derives a s in this this s can be replaced using this production s derives b here it is s derives b and in further this production this b can be replaced using this production b derives b the last one then this b will come in place of this b and this small b will then come in place of this s so a b the string will be derived s derives a b so second string is also generated now we will see the third string now to generate this third string a a b we use this production the first production s derives a s then this s derives a s in this this s can be replaced further using this production again so if we use s derives a s then this a s will come in place of this s then we will get s derives a a s then in this this s can be replaced by this production by with capital B that is a non-terminal and this non-terminal B can be further replaced with small b. So we will finally get s derives a a b. So finally our third string is also generated. Now we will see this. Now to generate this a a b b we have taken this first production rule s derives a s and this s is replaced further with using the same production rule s derives a s using these two we got this s derives a a s now this s can be replaced using non terminal b using this production then this b can be replaced using b b using this production and this b can be further replaced using b with this production these three steps will give us this s derives b b and this s will be finally put on into this s this one we will get s derives a a b b so our fourth string is also now generated now we will see the fifth one triple b to generate b b b we will use this production s derives non terminal b in this this non terminal b will be replaced using this production b b and again this non terminal b will be using the same production to produce b b again and this b will be replaced using this production the terminal b so we will get using these three steps b derives three b's now this b can be substituted in this and we get s derives b b b so our all five strings are satisfying the production rules we generated using a hit and trial method only thing we have to keep in mind is that the strings that are coming into your grammar should be satisfied with that production rules if any of the string is not satisfying your production rules then you have to rethink on your hit and trial method and again substitute using other the production rules so finally now i hope you have clear your concepts about how to generate a grammar we have generated the strings we have generated the production rules and we have matched the strings now the grammar can be written as g is equals to non terminals we used are s and b only wait s 
एंड बी आर नॉन टर्मिनल्स यूज एंड टर्मिनल्स यूज आर ए बी वेयर एस इज आवर स्टार्ट सिंबल एंड प्रोडक्शन रूल्स आर एस डिराइव ए एस और एस डिराइव बी एंड बी डिराइव बी बी और सिंपली दी बी दिस आर दी प्रोडक्शन रूल्स एंड दिस इज आवर ग्रामर दैट वी हैव गॉड सो नाउ आई होप सो यू हैव क्लियर हाउ टू मेक अ ग्रामर फ्रॉम अ गिवन लैंग्वेज बाय प्रोड्यूसिंग दी प्रोडक्शन रूल्स एंड देन राइटिंग द प्रोडक्शन रूल्स नॉन टर्मिनल्स टर्मिनल्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द फोर टपल्स दैट आर यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट द ग्रामर सो नाउ वी विल टेक ऑन वन मोर एग्जाम्पल टू क्लियर आवर कंसेप्ट अ बिट मोर नाउ एन अदर प्रॉब्लम इज that we have to generate grammar for this language lg is equals to am bn where m is greater than 0 and n is greater than equal to 0 it is just opposite to our last example where n should be greater than 0 and m was greater than equal to 0 here now m should be always greater than 0 but n can be 0 also so the grammar which will be formed will consist of strings like this a a a ab A A B A B B, where A is compulsory because A can or never be zero. M cannot be zero, so at least one power of A is necessary. So A will be there in every string. But for B, we can have a choice. It can be there or cannot be there. If it can be there, then it can be any number of times. So like these strings will be generated. Here we have chosen two criteria. The two criteria are. there is at least one a in start of every string you can see that there is at least one a in start of every string and the second criteria is any positive number of b can follow a means any positive number of b can follow a that means the b should be in positive numbers it cannot be zero so any positive number of b can follow a means it should be after the a if b as it exists it is after the a here also it is after two a here also it is after one a so any positive number of b can follow a such that there is a possibility of no b we know that as n is equals to 0 can also follow using this rule so no b can also exist means b can have a value of 0 power of 0 also so to satisfy this first condition we have derived two production rules s derives a a and this a derives a a again this criteria will satisfy this first condition because in these two production rules we have at least one a in every starting string a a this production rule from the start symbol will lead to a possibility of at least one a always and this a can be replaced by this production to give more number of a's and to for the second condition we have this three production rules where a can be replaced by non terminal b and this non terminal b can be replaced by null string where if b has a power of 0 then we can terminate using null or if b has any positive power then we can terminate using b derives bb and this b can be further replaced with this production also or this production also now let's see our example of how we are deriving each and every string then we will write it in grammar form then for this grammar if we have to generate this first string that is a simple a we can use these production rules that we have just verified and generated using our two assumptions two conditions for generating a we choose this production rule s derives a a in this s derives a a we can replace this a using this production with non terminal b and this non terminal b can be replaced with this production with epsilon or empty string so this whole substitution will give us this result s derives a epsilon and this as epsilon is empty string we can discard it and s derives a is generated so a is generated now we will generate a a to generate a a we choose this production rule s derives a a and this a is now replaced using this production rule with a a again this a is replaced with a a so we get s derives a a and again capital a this non terminal a can be replaced now using this production rule a derives b and this non terminal b can be replaced using null or empty string so we will get s derives a a epsilon this epsilon is empty string so we can discard it s derives a a is also generated now we will see ab to generate this string ab now 
we will again use this production rule s derives a a in this this a can be replaced using a derives b so a derives b and this b will be replaced using b b and this b will be replaced using epsilon using this so we will get s derives a b epsilon and this epsilon can be discarded so we get s derives a b so third string is also generated now we will test the fourth string a a b now to generate a a b we use the production s derives a a and this a can be replaced further using a derives a a and this a can be replaced using a derives b and this b can be replaced using b derives b b and further this non terminal b can be replaced using b derives null so finally we get s derives a a b empty string empty string is discarded so s derives a a b so now fourth string is also generated now we will generate the fifth string a b b now to generate the last string a b b we use the same production s derives a a this a can be replaced by this b this non terminal b will be replaced by b b this again non terminal b will be replaced by b b now this b can be replaced using null string so we finally get a b b epsilon epsilon is discarded s derives a b b we have here all terminals so the last string is also generated likewise we have tested five strings that means our production rules that we have determined are correct these production rules will determine all other strings in this grammar if we take other examples also you can test this production rules and now we can write the grammar generated grammar can be represented using g with the help of four tuples this set is the set of non terminals we used s a and b three non terminals and two terminals a and b start symbol is s and the production rules we used were s derives a a a derives a a or a derive b b derives b b or b can derive null string so you can test this production rules and this grammar you will get language this only if you have any doubts you can comment in our video or share your comments through email id so i hope building of grammar from a language is now clear to you and you will be practicing it and posting your doubts on our email id mentioned in the description of the video in our previous video we discussed about the introduction to grammars and conversion of grammar to a language so you can watch our full playlist here and go to the previous video here and to subscribe our channel click here and also click on the like button